y'all know i've been like just trying to get the house together and so i feel like i successfully did that i'll insert some random pictures i took that i have but i ended up getting the house pretty much decluttered and organized the only thing that i really have left to do is like my closet i need to like put my perfume shelves up and then we need to send out the laundry today but everything else i pretty much did i went through all the kids clothes got the upstairs organized the laundry room the rooms and like really deep cleaned and I know we have been spending a lot of the time in the house lately, so I didn't want to just keep on giving y'all the same clean, 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 clean. So today we're actually getting out of the house and doing something fun, so I figured I'd vlog today. So, let me race my face. I hear the, the feet running. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's just Carter. I mean, it's just Carson and Melo here right now. Carter went to go get his hair done. So once they get back, we are gonna head out. Um, the boys are gonna kind of do their little hair things, whatever they need to do to pay their maintenance, and so are we. So I'm so excited to just have like, a day out of the house, a girls' day. So that's what we're getting ready for. Mom, the yes. baby's right down on the top of the yeah. Okay, we're back. Melo's in the closet, he has joined us. Um, but anyways, like I'm saying, it's our day to like get out of the house and we're getting our nails done. So get into that Russian manicure that did not last whatsoever. But that's okay. I was going to keep it till it fell off and then I was going to change it out anyways. But it fell off or my two nails broke. So we're going to go to the nail shop today. We have no appointments. So we're just going to pray that we get in by the grace of God. I'm in the mood to just do like, instead of doing French, just doing like a short like neutral pink color not as bright as this pink right here but just something a little bit lighter shorter and then i also probably think i'm going to do my toes to match just keeping it simple for now i can't trust anybody with my nails right now so we're just going to do something that we know nobody can mess it up right like i said i'm just getting ready for the day does it focus on me y'all know this camera off of anyways okay so yeah we're just getting ready for the day really fast it's like it's really early. It's not 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 8.30 now. Okay. So yeah, that's the agenda for the day. And then we're going to come home. And I don't really know what the rest of the afternoon looks like. But that's what our morning looks like. So, 
I figured in this vlog, I would do a get to know me while I'm getting ready today. So let's get into it. I have some notes on my phone because I have three kids, so BFFR, I have horrible mom brain. I can barely remember anything and I get off topic so fast. So I'm going to try to stick to this when I like give you guys this little summary about me. So if you don't know me or you're new here, my name's McKenna. Um, that's how you pronounce it. I know a lot of people have trouble pronouncing my name sometimes, but that's how you pronounce it. My name is McKenna. I'm 23. I have three kids. Crazy, right? That sounds absurd. I know. I know, I know. Every time I say it out loud, I'm like, ooh, I cringe. Okay, so let me give you guys a little back history to that. So I met the kid's dad when I was 12 years old. We had moved to Texas from St. Louis and we ended up being neighbors in the same apartment complex. And we just became best friends like our entire childhood. We were basically best friends and we ended up dating like in the eighth grade, I believe. And yeah, we dated pretty much all throughout high school. We did have one breakup while we were in high school. I guess you could say like our kind of getting back together was like around our senior year. And that's when we found out we were pregnant basically we hit the pregnancy until we graduated um and then we finally ended up telling our parents they were obviously not so happy anyways moving on once we graduated um that basically put a halt on all of our plans to go to college i had already got accepted to pv i wanted to go to prairie view and i had everything packed up for my dorm already like and everything you know before i found out i was pregnant but anyways so yeah we didn't end up going to like going away for school however after we graduated i did continue going to school like i enrolled in my local community college and i stayed working the job that i had basically well the only job i had at the time which i had like during high school which is working at a trampoline park and i had basically like worked my way up while working there from like a bouncer to a party host to a lead to a supervisor so yeah, at that time I was basically in school for nursing, which is what I wanted to do. And then I was also working my nine to five as a supervisor for the trampoline park that I worked at. So fast forward to November, I had Carter in 2017. And yeah, shortly after that, we ended up moving out of my mom's house. We were both living with my mom at the time and I didn't have like a great relationship with my mom, but um Aaron's mom had also like put him out so yeah basically it was time for us to like move out and get our own place so that's what we did we ended up moving out and got our own apartment it was a it was a starter apartment it was a starter apartment it was anyways yeah so we lived there for all of like three months and um at the time I had gotten another job I was working at a hospital because after Carter was born I decided not to go back to the trampoline park so I wanted like a better job so for a little while i did like um bev cart at a golf course amazing money really good money but then i was like okay let me try to get into the field that i want to be in which is like the medical field and somewhere that will like pay for my schooling so i ended up getting a job working as like registration in the emergency room so i was doing that for a little while and the whole time we were living there and i was working that job i was just like i gotta get a, a better job i gotta get a better job so I ended up getting like another, like a better paying job at Care Now for a little while. The whole time, basically we're just working, going to school, stacking our money, and we didn't have any help with Carter. So I worked during the day and Aaron would keep him and then he worked at night and I would keep him and we never saw each other ever. And that was basically like our entire dynamic for like, I wanna say for a long time. Because Carter wasn't in daycare at this point yet. We just wanted to keep him home so yeah we were only in the apartment for a short amount of time it was like three months went by and i ended up thankfully getting a better job so i was able to show like proof of income with my check stubs or whatever and i started working at this fertility clinic it was a really great job loved it i however did not love the people that i worked with but anyways nonetheless we ended up moving to like my dream apartment at the time still love that apartment to this day it was literally so pretty i'm looking for my lip gloss and i can't find it so we'll use lip gloss instead but yeah we ended up moving into like our dream apartment 
and then I found out I was pregnant with Carson so Carson is my middle and while I was pregnant with Carson I kept working the same job at the fertility clinic I think at that point we had put Carter in daycare because he was like 18 months old so he was in daycare I was pregnant with Carson I was still working at the fertility clinic and I was still in school fast forward to right before I had Carson I decided to take a semester off of school because I knew that I wasn't going to be able to like really focus on school if I had like a newborn that semester so I did take the semester off and yeah I ended up having him in September and I took maternity leave and then I did end up going back to work for like two months part-time I want to say because that was like my agreement after maternity leave that I was like going to come back for like a couple weeks part-time and just work like 8 to 12 because I like wanted to be home with my baby in the midst of all of that I had like just some conflict at work with the girl that I was working with and ultimately Aaron and I just decided that it would be better for me to just stay home and focus on school that's what I did and that's when I pretty much be like became like a stay-at-home mom. I also wanted to take that time to like pursue other like hobbies and interests that I had at the time. So I'm in school and then I was doing like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Like I thought I wanted to be maybe like an event coordinator or like party decorator or, <laughs> or something like that, which I find some more so be like a hobby. I don't really think that I could do that necessarily for a career path. So I was doing that and then I also had an interest in doing YouTube. So I have all these videos that I filmed that I literally never posted ever um, until finally when the pandemic happened, which I would have never quit my job if I knew the pandemic was gonna happen because I could have got unemployment. But anyways, <laughs> and then we ended up moving and I finally, after so much time and like content that I had that I never posted, I uploaded like this Easter vlog in 2020 during COVID and that was my first ever YouTube video. No, it's not still up on my channel. I think I like completely deleted it off my channel, so. You can't look at it, I'm so sorry. But it is su it was super cute, the little vlog at the time. But anyways, yeah, that's how I kind of got into YouTube. And then I stopped posting for a while because the pandemic like really got serious after that. Like I think at first I was one of those people that was like, okay, like, yeah, we inside, but how long is this really gonna last type of thing? And then after April, it really like hit hard. Um, and so I took a break from YouTube. I uploaded maybe like a couple of videos in between there. And I was like still going to school and and then like two of the videos on my channel started getting really popular. They were like a hygiene routine and a shower routine. And I learned a whole bunch of like hygiene stuff like from being postpartum with Carter. So that was like, I had all my different little tips and tricks that I shared with the girls, right? So those videos kind of started blowing up, but I was like new to YouTube and I had like no idea how it really worked. And so I was like, okay, well, I already did those videos, so I can't do the same type of content. But boy, was I wrong. And as soon as I learned that and I started just like uploading a ton of the same content, like I think I would upload shower routines like three times a week. My channel really, really grew and I ended up getting to like a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours is what you need to be monetized by the end of that same year. Yeah, and then after that, it was just like, I had like real fast oh, progression. If I brush my eyelashes one more time, y'all know I don't really have a lot to get ready. So let me put my wig on really quickly and then we'll finish we'll finish the little story time okay so basically yeah that's kind of how my journey on youtube went i started posting like more consistently over the next year and grew about like 100k subscribers that was back in my get ready with me days so if you've been here since then you know that like it's a good time it's a good time and i do plan on bringing them back soon i, I think i have a vision for it in my head um, so y'all just bear with me. We're still in the midst of January and like getting our life together. So yeah, but coming 2023, I promise. I promise. I already did like a little mini one in a vlog already. So anyways, yeah, so that's basically how my YouTube journey like kicked off and got started. How I ended up here on this platform. I didn't have any other platforms before, if you guys can't tell. I'm like literally not active on any other social media. Like I've just never been a big social media girl and I feel like YouTube can be called social media but it's a little bit different and I feel like it's more of like a safer space and it's just, I don't know, I like YouTube better than all the other platforms to be honest. Which is why you don't see me posting on Instagram or TikTok really that much, um, which I may or may not uh, dibble and dabble into this year but I always say that and then I never do so. I'm just not like a photo taking person, like I don't think I'm super photogenic and it's not giving what the gram is supposed to give so 
unless I get on the gram and just post like, you know, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, so fast forward about a year into doing YouTube, I started slacking off in school. The typical, the typical content creator thing to do, I dropped the school. Because at this point, I was like, okay, like, I'm already a stay-at-home mom, and then, like, I'm making, you know, some money on top of that, doing YouTube, like, and I was really struggling in school at the time, and it was getting time for me to, like, actually start the nursing program, and I was just like, it just, God gave me this opportunity, so I'm basically going to pursue this for now, and I stopped going to nursing school so I may or may not go back when the kids get a little bit older it's still something that I would like to be able to do just because I've always wanted to be a nurse to be able to like take care of people and maybe like travel um like overseas once the kids are like a lot older and just you know like serve or do something so it's still something that I'm interested in but yeah I basically dropped out of school so yeah I was doing that for a while I was living my best 21 slash 22 year old life i'm gonna have to style my hair with the dyson and i'm not gonna be able to like talk to you guys while i do that so i'm gonna do it in a minute but just to wrap it up basically i was doing that and then i ended up finding out i was pregnant with mellow in 2021 and we didn't tell anybody we were pregnant so i wasn't like vlogging during that time um but i was still like posting like content videos on my channel we ended up getting pregnant with Mello, and um we had him and then we moved and that's basically where i'm at now so that's like a quick little summarized short version of basically how I, where how i became a youtuber or i got into doing content or whatever you want to call it um because i feel like i just get that question a lot and you guys don't know like a whole bunch about my background maybe not i hope you learned something about me in there um, my life is actually very crazy, very chaotic, very, very much, very much giving a little bit traumatic, but I think I'm actually going to write a book. I don't know when I'm going to start it, but, um, I think I'm going to write a book so you guys can, like, really know about my whole, like, full truth in my life and my childhood and growing up and all that kind of stuff. I will give you guys some other little, like, quick facts about me. I am the oldest daughter from my mom. My mom has two kids, me and my brother that you guys see in my vlogs. I am one of like seven or seven on my dad's side. I'm the second oldest, uh, his first daughter, but I have an older brother and then a ton of other siblings underneath me. I don't have the best relationship with my dad, so I don't like see them or that side of my family often because I never grew up with them. Um, and then I do have some bonus brothers and sisters that I like did grow up with. So from my mom's uh, marriage before she got divorced so I have a total of like 11 siblings and my favorite color is pink I already said I'm 23 I'm a cancer I was born in June I don't know I don't feel like I have like I don't know yeah I went to school for nursing at one point um y'all know I got three kids we just addressed that trying to think like what else is really that interesting about me I don't know <laughs> I don't I don't know that's that I should get some hobbies um yeah that's pretty much it that's been you know I haven't lived that much life but it feels like I have so yeah, that's basically me summed up um oh my ethnicity or race mom is white and my dad is black I have apparently like a very familiar face. Everybody that I know or that sees me literally thinks that I look like somebody else that they know. I'm turning big 24 this year. Super nervous about that. And I really don't think there's much to it. The content that I create is lifestyle, motherhood, self-care, hygiene, which if you've been here, then you know. Yeah, I'm from Dallas, Texas. I still reside here and they're putting up a Disney World here so it looks like I'm probably not going anywhere. We did have plans to move or we're thinking about moving to another state or another city soon but now I don't know because I'm like Dallas is really booming and so this is kind of the place to be right now but we'll see where we end up.
hopefully that helped you guys maybe get to know a little bit more about me if you have any other questions i was really just trying to give them basically like how i got to here for those of you guys who don't know because i really didn't start like i vlogged a little while on my channel for, like some things but if you haven't been here for a long time then you really wouldn't know like if you just started watching my vlogs and you, you have no idea so if you guys have any other questions um let me know and then maybe i can do like little segments of these um in the vlogs like while i'm getting ready and stuff and we can talk more about it if you guys have more like questions for me or want to know other things that i couldn't think of i guess so i'm gonna style my hair with the dyson really really fast Okay, y'all know when influencers be lying and they be like we got five minutes so we gotta leave the house but i literally have like 20 minutes to leave the house and um aaron's mom just got here because she was gonna be here with the kids in between like carter getting his hair done and then i had to run to the last point anyways aaron took my car because he's been filled with gas because i guess he didn't always leave him before they got back and he also took his car keys so we are going to be ubering today apparently so we have like five seconds to finish getting ready we still need to take our vitamins i really wanted to go to starbucks um but apparently we're not gonna be able to do that right now maybe we'll get it in the uber on the way to the nail shop or something but okay i have no idea what to wear because Y'all can't see it, but we got a massive pile of laundry right down here, and it's cold outside, and so I don't know where any of my sweatsuits are. Okay, we got black and cream. Let me go see if I can find the pants to the set, and then I'll be right back. Found black sweatpants so we're gonna be wearing a black nike sweatsuit oh if i can get my pants i make so much laundry in here on the floor all right i need a hoodie dang i haven't even ate breakfast yet because i was like oh i'm gonna go to starbucks my lashes won't take that long though i go every week to get my lashes done because it's just a 30 minute fill and it keeps my lashes looking like they're done if that makes sense instead of waiting every two weeks and having like them three struggling eyelashes it's the same amount of money it's not any more expensive and it's less time me sitting there if that makes sense so that's what i've been doing lately and i like that when i got out of the shower i didn't even like finish um doing like my little stuff so i need to still put my witch hazel on we need to do spray and stuff i'm wearing my little Balenciaga sneakers. I really want to wear the pink ones. I haven't worn the pink ones yet, but I want to get like a pink bag to match it so it can be cute. So I guess today we're just going to do black and white um, tennies because it's cold outside and so I need my feet to be covered or I'll just wear my easy slot. I was going to say pack a purse, but the purse that I want to take is actually downstairs, but we're still going to get a little hand sanitizer. I haven't forgot that I got all these little hand sanitizers when Sephora had the sale. So we're going to put one in the purse. I don't know which fragrance I want to wear today. At first I thought I was going to wear my little Burberry Her combo. But I don't know. It's cold outside, so I don't know what I want to wear. I was going to wear, this is my go-to too. When I don't want to wear anything else, this is like my everyday like gypsy water mother i was gonna try to change it up today but i look you need to go fragrance shopping like i have some other perf perfumes that i like but i just don't like wear them every single day so i guess when in doubt since i showered with the products that smell like this anyways we'll just use her spray 
I link everything for you guys in my description box. I feel like a lot of people always ask me like, oh, I wish you had an Amazon storefront or I wish you like did links, but like if you like just click the description box, I, I, I swear I link, I link, I link everything, but I'll try to tag them on YouTube too because that's like a new feature. Um, y'all let me know what y'all like better, but yeah, okay. Okay, we need a lip gloss, a hair clip, and that's pretty much it because y'all know me. Very basic minimalist. Oh, I need to get a new wallet. I think I told y'all on one of the walls I lost my I lost my wallet. And so my ID came in. I do got an ID now. <laughs> but I lost my little card holder I had. It's 9.43, I should probably like see how far an Uber is away. And let's run downstairs really fast and go take our vitamins and all of the things. Okay, I'll confirm it when we get downstairs. <coughs> plain everyday hoops so I'm thinking about getting some little ones off of Amazon because I don't know if I really like want to put these off I'm not going to that's too dressed up for me <laughs> it's giving too bad to see me okay I think let me do I'm gonna do my witch hazel and my booty deodorant really quickly because I can't leave the house without doing it and then I'll meet y'all downstairs so we can do our little Vitamins. Ah, oh, damn, I hate that I'm in a rush, but okay, here we go. Let me tell you about this girl. Maybe I should. I met her in Philly, and her name was Brown Sugar. See, we've been making love constantly. That's why my eyes are a shade. Blood burgundy. The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I be kissing when I'm kissing what I'm missing. Won't you listen? Brown Sugar, babe. I guess high off your love. I don't know how to be. We just got done getting our lashes and I forgot we were in Uber situation. So we're gonna walk to Starbucks since it's across the street and then Uber home from there. the nail shop he he was giving me a little massage and he pulled my hair up to like get off my shoulders so he could like rub my shoulders because that comes included with the pedicure i completely forgot so he flips my hair up and like clips it i thought my wig was gonna come out i was like oh my, my god and i'll tell y'all it's big in the back so like this clip is like it's barely clipped back there right i'm gonna get a new one but anyways it was funny but <laughs> yeah we're back the boys just got back too. I just got back. Um, I was talking to Aaron's mom for a minute, but anyways, my hair's all messed up. But yeah, we're back from the nail shop. I'll show you guys my toes. They're like this milky but white color too. Dad's not back. No, he went back to work. And I got almond shape like I always do, and I really like them. I think it looks just clean and nice and cute. And so that's that's what we got for now. What we gonna have for the next like two weeks? But um. I wanted to go out to lunch, but Aaron had to go back to work. So 
Um. <coughs> bless you. Oh, bless you. Thank you, Petiti. So, yeah, I don't really know what we're going to do. The weather is not, like, horrible outside. It's, like, a little chilly, but I don't know. I kind of just want to get outside. So I was thinking, like, maybe we could do, like, a little, maybe just, like, a picnic at home or something. I don't know, outside, but... We'll see. I'm totally trying to decide. I need to um, put the laundry out really fast, though. I don't know what the rest of the day looks like. I got to give y'all some updates on the dining room chairs because in the last vlog, the dining room chairs, listen, I only got four left. So I tried to, and the white with the spray paint wasn't coming out well. So I ended up getting like an electric spray gun from Amazon and putting like regular paint in there because I also tried to paint them with a brush, but that didn't look good either. So anyways the spray gun works the best but i have to like sand down the other two chairs since i already kind of painted on them and then repaint them so that is just sounding like a project that i i like too much like it's like it's more than what i bargained for you feel me and so now i'm like oh i don't i don't know half of me is Mom. like i just want to buy some white chairs i'm spamming i see baby Carson is up on the couch, and then there goes Mello, pulling y'all closer. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't do that. Uh -uh. He's having some chips as a snack. So I think there was a little misunderstanding when I said like, oh, I don't do chips or, but I do juice in the house, which I think all moms, we all just try to do whatever we think is the healthiest or best for our kids. And it usually follows the pattern of like how we grew up, you know what I mean? And so like me personally, like my mom didn't keep sodas or chips in the house just because like, um, those are not the healthiest foods, right? And then I feel like it's more so just like, not so that they're not in the habit of like eating chips and junk food all the time. I just don't keep a lot of junk in the house. I keep juice in the house because they're young. So kids, when they're like toddlers and little kids usually drink like water, but you know, and then if you allow them juice and stuff. So my kids drink juice and chocolate milk. Um, but we don't, they're we're in no way, shape or form like the most healthiest eating. I just try to do the best that I can. Like I think we all do, so. I let them have trips on occasions, like if we're going out, we're at like a basketball game or if we're like movies, stuff like that. The thing that I don't let them have is soda. Cause I just think they're too young for soda. But anyways, yeah, there was, we had some, I wouldn't even say debates. There was no debates. We were just having, there was a lot of commentary about that section or what I said in that vlog in the comment section in the last video. Yeah. Come here. And I dilute his juice because he is drinking apple juice sometimes, like maybe a couple times a week. And I'll dilute his, but I don't dilute the older boys' hey, juice. Mom, that Which, to my surprise, a lot of you guys dilute your juice. Hey, Mom, am I, you know, I'm in trouble? Are you? Should you be in trouble? Would you do? What are you going to be in trouble for? Everybody ah! died. Anyways, parenting is literally just also trial and error. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm debating, basically I'm hesitant on whether or not I should attempt to keep painting the chairs or if I should, I don't know. I don't want to ruin it. I'm so scared. Like we're down to four chairs. We need at least four chairs. So yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I think I'm gonna ask Aaron to just do it for me. All these candles really quickly though. My new thing I've been doing for like the past 24 hours. <laughs> Or something that I said I was gonna do is just keep the lit candles lit in the house. Like this year, we're burning the expensive candles. We're using all the products that we bought. Cause so I feel like last year, like I got stuff, but I have had that mindset for so long, of, like sparing everything. If that makes sense. Yes, I Yeah, I'm gonna put it on. Right I, I got it. I'm gonna put it on. But anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna light the candles. It's gonna be a vibe every day, okay? We're romanticizing every day. Because I used to have like self-care days, like where I would do like a lot of things, like self-care things on certain days. But then also like I wouldn't put lotion on my body the other five days out of the week. So yeah, I'm lighting my candles every single day. I'm putting lotion on 
these days every day and in order to like keep myself on track and remembering things because i feel like a lot of times it's just like you get to like just going through the motions and then it's almost like you forget to kind of do those like steps like it's little things so i put on a little sticky note around the house and so like i got one in here in the kitchen and it's like light candles refill the ice machine and then just like just little stuff that i could forget so i put on a little sticky note and i got it in the middle of the kitchen let's go light all the candles and then we're gonna go pack up the laundry sound like a plan uh, yeah i love that he just loves me you just love me Yes, you do. Yeah. yeah. I love you too. I don't know what I'm going to do with this little counter space right here. I have an espresso machine over there by the ice maker, and so I don't really know. I have my Nespresso machine over here. But I really just don't drink coffee that often. Like every once in a while, I'll be like, okay, I need like a little, a little coffee, a little pick me up, a little shot of espresso if I'm just like feeling tired or something. But for the most part, like I don't drink coffee like really at all. Um, and I feel like when I bought the espresso, I was just in like my coffee era, and I was enjoying drinking coffee. But now I'm kind of like out of that. Like I, coffee's just never been like my thing that I'm just like, okay, yeah, I have to have one every single morning. Yeah, I had to put an espresso down and I don't really know what I want to do over here in this little area. I'm probably just going to get some flowers. I really want the whole house to just like have fresh flowers, all fresh flowers all throughout. So we have like baby breaths on the counter and then I have like my peonies and baby breaths over there in that little basket i don't know if it's gonna focus sorry if the ice maker is loud in the background y'all and then we got a vase for the table over there and then look Mello got a new high chair it's from amazon but yeah i just want to put some flowers on the table and just have like more fresh flowers like even in my room and my bathroom and stuff so <laughs> are you too cute He's at the best age. Yeah. Yes. Crawling and like uh, moving around. Yeah. Aren't you a happy baby? Aren't you the happy baby? Trying to eat my finger. Um, yeah, this is my favorite age for sure. And you're sleeping through the night? Yeah. Yeah. He's a mama. He's a mama. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hello. Mm. Okay. All right. Let's go upstairs. Y'all never see my lunch room. Do y'all want to know why? Because it's a hot mess. Well, I cleaned it out, so it's not anymore. But it was. I cleaned out my washing machine. I'm trying to smell it. Cause y'all know front load washers, they be stinking. So that's why we really never use the washing machine either. It doesn't smell that bad anymore. I had like deep cleaned it out and stuff. Cause I like personally washing like my own sheets and stuff at home. But we haven't been doing that because the washing machine was smelly. And I had like taken it all apart and everything and like rinsed the tube and the tub and it just it, it wasn't it still wasn't smelling right so we've got to separate the laundry i'm just gonna make it a little bit easier for her sometimes we don't separate it but i feel like it's just easier and then the clothes are more organized whenever i do separate it so these are our sh old sheets I want to get different laundry baskets for each person in the house so that way I don't even have to separate it. But right now, we just have like these two old laundry baskets that we've been having for like the past like five years. <laughs> five years. And I never really saw a purpose to getting another one because we're getting some more. But maybe I'll invest in some laundry hampers this year. 
I'm just gonna put everybody's stuff in a separate bag so that way it just comes back better organized because she like separates she separates it for us for the most part and I say she I use the such share app but I usually have the same um like laundrist is that a fancy word to say for the profession I usually get the same person every single time because you can request who you want after you've had them or you can like block people if they did your laundry bad or didn't deliver it one time y'all had to uber my laundry back from a guy because he was like oh I can't bring your clothes because my car broke down and I was like I was like, well, I need my clothes. And he was like, well, I'll try to give it to you when I can. I was like, what? I was like, okay, I'm going to send an Uber. And I had to send an Uber from an hour away. It was ridiculous. So, yeah, he got blocked. He was nice. But, um, I needed my clothes. So, anyways, that's the only bad experience I've really had on the app, to be honest. She usually separates everything, like, by pants and shirts and like she tries to separate the kids clothes the sizing is like they kind of look similar for carter and carson so i'm just gonna separate them for her and then i'll just tell her like everybody's clothes are in a different basket so if you could just keep them like that that would be perfect because i organized all of the kids drawers in their bedroom and i was doing all my cleaning this week and so now everything is nice and organized and for my mental health i would love for it to stay that way at least for a little while. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I have literally this huge pile here and then another huge pile in my bedroom. So I'm not gonna, I can sit here and talk y'all's ears off, but <clears throat> instead we'll just get it done really fast. Yeah. We're done with the laundry. Whew, that's a little mini exercise, okay? So now we're gonna just clean up the closet a little bit. It's a little chaotic in here. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is put together my little perfume stand so that way I can put all of my perfume that still needs to go on the stand on there. And yeah, I'm still trying to debate what I wanna do. I wanna get out with the get outside with the kids, but like I know, well, I know this is common law on moms. Taking the kids outside by myself gives me so much anxiety. But it's like, hey Siri, what's the weather? Okay, she said it's it's only 57, but for some reason it doesn't feel that cold. Maybe if I stayed outside longer, it would be colder. So maybe that's not a good idea, actually. But I kind of want to just get outside. I don't know. And then, I don't know, maybe we could do a little Chick-fil-A picnic and Uber Eats. I was gonna, I'm not gonna cook. It's Friday. Fridays are, like, we usually do takeout on Fridays. I'll just be honest. It's not a lot of cooking going on in the kitchen on Friday. So, I don't know, I'll just 
I was thinking, I was thinking maybe we could like set up a little cute picnic or something. I got these off of Amazon. What's new? What's new? However, I will be slowing down on my Amazon purchases this year because baby, the spending was out of control last year. You like when you're an entrepreneur or maybe even if you're not, I don't know. I didn't used to do this before, but taking a step back and looking at your finances because you're about to file taxes at the end of the year. Mm -mm. It's giving it's giving irresponsible. And I do not want to be a bad steward of my money, so I'm going to be spending less in 2023. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you something. What's up? If you ever wondered what it's like to be a mom, that's it, 24-7. You think having your kids close in age, they're going to be like best buds, which they are, but they mm -hmm. literally fight 24-7 constantly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I'd be feeling bad because it's like, I should find more things to occupy their time. But also, like, they have a attention span, like, this big. But anyways, that's another one of the things. I want to start, like, getting out of the house more or taking them out of the house more, like, be more comfortable doing that next year or this year, I guess. We're already in a new year, shit. But anyways, that's something, one of my biggest life lessons that I learned in 2023 is I don't care, like, when anybody says, please take this advice. Because it's common advice that people give, but I feel like not enough people listen to it. Like, I get that we're in our 20s, we're having fun, right? We're young, if you're in your 20s, whatever. There's nothing wrong with taking trips, spending a little money here or there, you know? But I feel like... Let me out. The soft girl and luxury lifestyle, I'm all here for it. And if you're at that era in your life, then okay, you know, cool, cool. However, for your 20s, I feel like your main goal should be stacking your money. Save your money. Before you buy designer this or splurge on this and that, save your money. Even if you feel like you're so young and you don't know what you're saving towards yet, you're going to want to get a house one day, even if you don't think you're going to, whatever. Save your money for whatever. Just save it, okay? Save more than you spend. Make the sacrifice now so that you don't have to when you get older. And then when you're settled and you buy your house and you, like, establish in whatever career you want to have or investments you want to have or however you want to define what your life successes would be, then once we're established, oh, Gucci, Louis, Fendi, Prada, you know, if that's your thing, you know, or that dream car that you want or whatever. But be a good steward of your money. Save it up. Down payments for houses, not cheap, baby. Even if you get a first time home homeowner's loan and you might be able to get away with it being not as expensive, like 3% or something, you still want to have money to furnish that house. Buy the nice washer, dryer, appliances you want. And that shit is expensive, so just keep that in mind. And save your money. All of the stuff, like the luxury things, they can they can wait. They can wait. Okay. I take me a little bit too much shopping this year. And, 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 and it's really because like one, I'm usually like really good with my money, but I did a really bad job tracking my income last year and just like my savings and spendings. And I did save you know some but i should have saved a lot more than i did so i was a little disappointed in myself in that aspect and going into 2023 i definitely will be um cutting back on spending which leads me into something else because i spent some bags my my, my man got me some stuff too so i didn't have to buy i didn't buy it all but um <laughs> The one thing that I learned about like luxury shopping is that like, okay, the girls tell you, you buy your luxury stuff because the quality is good and obviously because uh, the brand, whatever, you like the style, but also keep in mind, let me move y'all, just keep in mind that the baby's going to try and get y'all. We're not going to, I'm not going to play keep away with you. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Even if you buy luxury stuff, gonna get wear and tear, even though it's expensive, it's not invincible. Like, it's good quality material. My Bottega heels, scratch. My Louboutins, done for. Um, <laughs> like, my Prada bag that's white, big ass stain on the, on the bottom. I don't know what it is, but it's a big stain on there. And I take good care of my stuff, but just like life happens. And then like walking in shoes, there's wear and tear that comes with everything. So my point to be said of that is spending your money on expensive stuff beforehand like before you save the money and you have the house or whatever like things you really like big goals you want to check out i just feel like it's not worth it don't 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 be influenced into being into being broke if you got it you got it like and you know that that's that's one thing right but if you're trying to just like do it to do it and you haven't checked off everything else that you want to do yet save it save your money save, save the money that's all i would say about it mm -hmm. We're saving, we're budgeting, we're cutting down expenses this year because my goals personally, like I really want to be um, in a house. If I can't get in a house this year, which I'm hoping that I can, it's just going to be really like the weird timing with when our lease ends. And Anyways, that's the journey that I'm going to be on this year. My point to that was save your money. Don't let social media let you soft girl error yourself into being broke also because I feel like that was a really big trend last year and like... I don't really feel like a lot of content creators really have soft lives to be honest like or at least the ones that I feel like I like watch or know like they have luxurious luxurious lives but I feel like the girls be working the girls be working hard I think the two are getting confused almost like the girls be putting in, be putting in the work. yeah Work hard in your 20s while you still have the energy and get you a bag, okay, baby? Get you a bag. We're in our bag 2023, okay? And we're keeping our bag, our coin in our bag. You know, this stuff smells so good. It's like the Frenchy Casual Soothe and Comfort Body Serum. I'm gonna take out my stuff that I got from Joe Malone when I did the advent calendar too because there was some really good fragrances in there. Taking a detour from cleaning up, but if you guys watch my vlogs, I got this um advent calendar from Joe Malone, but I like went ghost in December, so I didn't open it with you guys, but I did end up opening it. And I'm gonna just tell you guys what I think about the fragrances in here. This is the wood and sage. I need those like little sample papers to do this. This is giving like fresh and clean. I don't really know. It is very sagey. I would probably use it like as a room spray. Apparently there's a little lime basil candle, but not like really as a perfume or a cologne. Some of the stuff I was like, it smells like really good for like your house, but I don't know that I would just like use it as my like, if I would want to smell it on a person, that makes sense. This one is similar. It's like a blackberry and bay. It smells different. I actually really do like it, but I could more so imagine it as like me walking into like a room that smells like that, not necessarily like a person. Winter moss and snowdrop. Not a big fan of that one. I'm gonna like separate them into like different little categories. Um, just so that I can place them in the appropriate areas of the house because since they're little samples I'm just gonna use them as like room spray like what I said and then others of them I remember being more masculine so I was just gonna like let the kids have them mm, that smells good um, this one is fig and fig and lotus flower that smells really good actually like it's again I don't know why these just all feel really homey so maybe if you like homey scents you would really like these but they all just smell like home fragrances to me, but just like really, really good home fragrances. And I'm not sure if that's what they're meant to be because it says perfume and cologne. This one, same thing, dark amber ginger lily. I really like that as well. Those two smell really good. There's something about that. Ah. Like it every day. Yeah, there was one in here. And I'm pretty sure it's the Scarlet Poppy that I'm like obsessed with. This is Jasmine and Marigold. 
This one smells like a grandma. Just gonna keep it a buck. like baccarat not gonna lie and unpopular opinion i'm not a fan of baccarat i feel like too many people wear it and like at the Achoo! at least the 540 which is the one with the, the red and gold right i like the gentle fluidity i think it's like the silver one but the 540 that everybody wears it's so strong and anytime you go out that's all niggas smell like i'm like y'all gotta switch it up like why do y'all all smell like that and then it's so like strong it's almost like alcohol -y. like i do not like i don't like the fragrance i gotta remember which ones i'm taking out but yeah don't really like that one not a fan this is red roses i'm pretty sure that one literally smells like red roses Mm, that's like a shower fragrance maybe i don't know i don't really like it oh this is the one the scarlet poppy ah it's making my nose itch i need some coffee beans the scarlet poppy smells absolutely amazing you you gotta get this i'm gonna get the bigger bottle like after i use this holy it smells so good yeah we love the scarlet poppy i've never really just tried any of their fragrances which is why i got this this is the blush or this is the peony suede blush this also smells like flowers to me i don't know i like it but it smells like a, a fragrance a person would wear but it's almost like i don't know it's real sweet though so if you like sweet stuff um it's cool it's not like my favorite or anything though. let's see this one is oud bergamot which is like what a manly scent. I'm probably mixing all these together. I also do not really care for that. Mm -mm. I don't know what that smells like, but I do not really like it. This was another little candle. This is. It smells good. It's the myrrh and Tonka. Maybe y'all know I cannot pronounce anything in my life. And this is the English hair. I can't remember if I like this or not. I need something else to like spray it on. This one's good. Again, I don't I don't know that I want to smell like an English hair, but it does smell good. I'll give them that. I would have rather had the scarlet poppy in the big bottle. This is pine and eucalyptus. A good homey scent. And then the lime basil. I already know what it smells like because there was like a ton of lime basil and mandarin things in here. And it smells like a kitchen fragrance. Like I would spray the kitchen with this. I would use the soap to like wash my hands. It's just giving me like a kitchen kitchen fragrance vibe. So yeah, I don't know that these are intended to be. This is the matching hand lotion, and I think there was a soap in here that was also the same thing. So I'm probably just going to put these in the, the downstairs, yes, bathroom. Because that's the smell it's giving me. Let me just double check. I'm pretty sure that's everything. I also ended up getting some scents from Replica, and I haven't tried them out yet. But, you know, Sephora was doing their little perfume or holiday gift set bundles. And so I picked up the Replica one because I do like the Beach Walk that I have by Replica. And it's such a popular brand, so I got it. And so let's see. This one is Jazz Club. There's so many perfumes in here right now. It's ridiculous. Oh, I stuck my face right in there. That smells really good. I have no idea how I would describe that. It's like sweet. I feel like I almost smell vanilla in it, but it doesn't smell like traditional vanilla. It's kind of like, I don't know, but I actually really do like that, okay? We're gonna put that in the I like pie. <laughs> um, this is Lazy Sunday Morning. I think I need to spray it on something. I had some random stuff on the floor. This smells like that oud bergamot. I, I'm not really a fan of this. Let me spray it in the air. 
Yeah, not a huge fan of that. Um, let's see, under the lemon trees. So this is gonna smell like lemon. I'm gonna sneeze again. Yeah, that smells like lemon. So I would again use this. Like I feel like lemon scents are for the house, like the kitchen, by the fireplace. That smells like the fireplace, like the fire. Like, hold on, that was crazy. Yeah, that's like a smoky. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. They really like bottled up the smell that the fireplace smells like, which is not a bad smell. It's just like a very wintry, cozy. Again, like maybe I would spray my throw pillows like th with this, but I wouldn't go outside and want to smell like by the fireplace. Does that make sense? But anyway, that's just my personal opinion okay whatever you like i love for you all right let's try a bubble bath this better smell good it smells good i want to love it but there's like one note in it that smells it smells like a fresh clean like bubble bath but then there's like one thing in it that's like a little i smelled it like after i smelled everything else i don't know i'm like horrible at describing scents clearly um it's cool. I could see myself putting it on after the shower. Like, that's what it's giving. I wouldn't probably wear it outside, though. Alright. It's autumn vibes. If this smells like smells like fall, I'll be... I have something that smells like that. What is that? Oh my gosh, now I'm so intrigued. Damn. I feel like I have a fragrance that smells like this. Maybe it was one of these that I just smelled. This one it smells good. It smells like another like homey smell though. Oh, this is too much for my nose all at one time. Jesus. Sailing day. I think my nose is broken. <laughs> this smells like fresh clean. I like it. I'm a fresh clean scent type of girl coffee break so this is supposed to smell like coffee let's switch let's turn around and get some air over here that smells like a light coffee fragrance if you've ever smelled the ogx body wash that's like coffee this would go real well with that it smells blush me exactly like it this might not have been a good idea Beach walk. I have beach walk. Beach walk is a great smell for the summer. Like if you're one of those girls who likes to wear perfume outside and like you want to go to the beach or like the pool and you want to smell good but you want to match the vibes of like being outside, get beach walk. It smells like a nice sunscreen, which probably is not the best way to describe it if you don't like the smell of sunscreen, but I personally do and it just smells like a nice sunscreen so like if I'm going out on walks with the kids or like just outside in the summertime because I just feel like you can wear fragrances when you're going inside places but if you're spending a lot of time outdoors like the fragrances wear off and you can't really smell it as well unless you're in like close contact with people but this is a good one for that type of thing and then the last one is I'm gonna be sick I thought there was one more in here maybe not Oh, springtime in the park. Let's see. It smells like florally clean. Like it smells like like a flowery perfume, but clean. Yeah. Not too big of a fan of that one. So overall my favorites were definitely Scarlet Poppy. That was my number one. And then the peony plush, the peony and blush suede was cool. My second favorite was the jazz club. And then the rest of them I'll, I kind of liked, but I wasn't like wow. But these two right here, the jazz club and the scarlet poppy, I would definitely purchase the full bottles of these. I'm probably going to have a headache from doing that. That was probably not the best idea ever, but... Yeah, okay, well, let's finish cleaning up in here because this is like the last room. I just really need to like get in order and it won't take me long because there's not a lot of stuff in here. So let's do that and then we'll, I don't know, it's like four o'clock. 
so I'm trying to debate. It'll probably be too cold. I'm forgetting it's Friday, and so like my management is texting me, but I'm already in weekend mode. Like my brain is turned off. I'm in I'm in weekend mode. <laughs> okay. This very spicy brand or company wants to work with me, and it's not even like spicy like like vibrators or anything like that which i am doing a sponsorship with a little a little toy soon so be on the lookout for that that's conversation for another day though <laughs> but it's like a different type of spicy and i'm like i don't know i would have to like really look into it and like use the app and see if that would be something i would want to promote because like y'all think i'm okay in the comments y'all really maybe i just overshare but i feel like i don't even overshare to that extent but y'all be thinking i'm like freak freak nasty or something which makes me wonder about y'all i'm gonna put all the ones that i could see myself wearing up here on the little perfume displays we got all these little mini perfumes i would take the mini perfumes like on vacation too or something this is a really good queen scent too the dolce gabbana light blue if you don't want to buy the gypsy water because the gypsy water is way more expensive but they're both like clean clean fresh scents i should probably just discard this medicine huh there was like i think i have like hydro and valium left from when i had surgery this is this is nausea medicine so i could keep this I think this is value. Pretty sure I have some hydros around here somewhere. I'm gonna just put them in the bathroom. There was some other stuff that came in like the little advent calendar. It was like a little Joe Malone snow globe, which I really do not care to have. And then there was like two other little fragrances. I think these were like hmm, the wood sea salt sage and then pomegranate in New York. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna play some music and just clean this up really fast. So let's let's do All right, the cleaning plans got interrupted. That's why I've been taking so long to do the thing. The baby woke up from his little nap. He just be taking like quick naps and now he's eating a cheese stick that he's probably gonna throw on the floor. And one, two. Yeah, he's eating a cheese stick <laughs> or like numbing on a cheese stick. So yeah, it's four o'clock and we're having a Wi-Fi outage. So usually on Friday nights, we like watch movies with the kids. Um, that's like always been like our thing. And we, we order pizza mainly, unless we have something to do. So yeah, that is pretty much showing what the plan is gonna be like tonight. I wanna finish my vision board today also. So I figured I'll probably just do that while the kids are watching their movie. Like I'll just sit at the dining room table and um finish like picking out my pictures and printing it out for the board because it's only to like do a couple more months i left off like i stopped wherever i left off in the last vlog but yeah my kids were just at the zoo like two days ago and guess what there's an animal loose at the zoo today crazy and that's shit that i be thinking about in my head before i let my kids go do stuff like they went with their grandma to go to the zoo and in my head i was like i really want to go because what if the world ends or what if something happens and then look this there was an animal that got loose at the zoo today and it was like a leopard okay they labeled it as non-dangerous though because i think it was like like a baby leopard but how do you lose a leopard <laughs> Yeah, okay. I to order us Domino's, even though it's still early, neither one of them took naps because Carter was getting his hair done through his nap time and then Carson just didn't take a nap today. So I think we're just gonna probably call it an early night. The Wi-Fi is supposed to come back on by six o'clock. So somehow the TV outside is working. I have no idea how, so they're outside watching TV right now. Yeah, playing with their toys, but 
It's the time of day for us to drink our karma water. This little suction cup thing keeps falling off his walker. But anyways, you need to go get you one of these. I don't care what you do, go get you one of these. I'm being so serious. I'll link it for you guys. You can get it off of Amazon if you want to buy like the whole pack. If you want to like try it out first, you can buy the individual bottles at like Sam's Club, Walmart, and that's like the only like local places that I know where you can really get them from. But um, baby, yeah, this right here. I get the strawberry lemonade. A lot of the girls said that the blueberry lemonade is good, but this has two billion like cultures, probiotics in there. It's probiotic water. I originally bought this because somebody on the internet was like, it's gonna make you splish splash, like water park. Okay. And you know, I gonna test it out for the girls. You know, I, I, I'm taking 15. I bought a case off of Amazon, came in, I drank it. I gave one to my friend. Cause you know, I needed a secondary opinion. Cause sometimes you can get stuff and it's like placebo effect. Go get you some of this. Go get you some of this. This is my, this, I, I feel like I cannot live without this anymore now that I've had it. Like, not only is it good for just like all of your digestive areas, probiotics can really help with like vaginal health. And I have noticed a difference, baby. Like, and y'all know, like, I feel like I pretty much, I do the, the things you're supposed to do already, but like, whatever that crack, whatever your crack pipe epidemic is, <laughs> they'll be taking my money for the rest of my life because this sh is good. Yeah. Just wait till I do my get ready with me. Yeah. It's good. Okay. I'm gonna edit this video as like a daily vlog. I'm not gonna title it daily vlog though, because I'm not gonna watch it if it don't say weekly vlog in the title. But anyways, it's gonna be a vlog and I'm gonna try to try this out where I just like vlog for like a day or so and see how much content I can get. Cause really when I weekly vlog, I cut the videos down so much. Like I have seven, eight hours of footage. And so I'm not gonna upload like a seven, eight hour video to YouTube yet before. But I'm gonna try to like keep in as much footage as I can. And then maybe I'll be able to post more frequently too. So we're gonna try it out for like a week. See what it's giving. If y'all don't if y'all don't interact with it, then we'll just go back to what we was doing. But I figure this way it'll be easier and it'll take me less time to edit the vlog. So then I'll have more time to actually be filming instead of just when, it, when you edit an eight-hour vlog, it takes like two like two days from sun up to sundown. Like, it's a lot. So yeah, we're gonna try this out. See what happens. I think I've told y'all our Domino's order before, but just in case you're curious, I'm gonna get three chicken Alfredo pastas on the $6.99 deals meals. Because <laughs> the kids really like the pasta, they'll eat like almost all three of the containers, and then um, we do thin crust spicy jalapeno pizza and then also i like thin crust alfredo onion spinach chicken is my new thing that fire and then i usually get um like a cookie brownie so i'm gonna get that for sure sometimes i get their wings or their boneless chicken it just like depends what mood i'm in so i don't know if i'm gonna get that yet we're gonna see what i'm checking out but that's usually what we get i'm lucky thinking about also getting some wings from wingstop because i'm just in like a I'm hungry. I haven't ate all day. I've been all day. I made a kid's breakfast this morning. And then I never ate. And then I didn't eat lunch. And the only thing I snacked on was them two little chips that Carson finished earlier. I gotta stop doing that. I'm trying to get in a better habit of eating breakfast. It's just like finding stuff I actually enjoy eating early in the morning. I like breakfast food. But I don't like eating early in the morning. But I know that food is fuel. So even though I think I'm not hungry or I don't need to eat it, I think in order to like sustain my energy levels throughout the day, I need to be eating a good breakfast. So we're going to try that. That's going to be, I'm going to try to start doing it this month. But if not, for sure, we'll be working towards that in February once we get to like our fitness and health goals. Because this month is just strictly organizing, which I feel like I did a really good job at so far because it's the 13th. It's Friday the 13th. He's getting so vocal. Did you did you drop your cheese stick? 
But yeah, I finished pretty much organizing every single room, like thoroughly organizing it, going through clothes, getting rid of a lot of stuff. And so I feel like the house is pretty much put together. It does need like a deep clean, like I need to like deep actually clean it now, which is something I'm probably gonna do in like, um, maybe tomorrow. The kids start basketball tomorrow. So originally I had planned to do like my little reset day tomorrow for grocery shopping and all of that. And basketball, which I'm pretty sure is gonna take up like a big chunk of the day, so. I don't exactly know how I'm going to go about that yet, but stay tuned on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z and we'll see what happens. Yeah, anyway, so we got the house organized. Like, I mean, organized, baby, okay? It's no mess. You could run up in my house and you could open one of my cabinets and it's going to be clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For the most part. There is one closet I didn't do at all. And that's just because I'm not mentally there yet. So I might get to it by, by the end of the month, but I was burnt out from cleaning this week so i just was like because it's probably the worst one and it's like a catch-all closet that we just and i need aaron's help anyways because some of the stuff is like um holiday decor and i need him to put it up in the attic for me so yeah probably finish that by the end of this month but other than that we're good to go first week of january i basically did like the downstairs second week upstairs my next week is going to be basically scheduling all of our appointments and getting everything like as far as our calendar organized so scheduling the kids dentist doctor's appointments my dentist doctor's appointments and also i want to schedule out my classes so like my cycle classes my yoga classes my pilates classes for next month so that i'm just like ready to go and it'll be easy to transition over into my fitness february month i'm actually really excited about it. i didn't waist train today because i forgot because i was rushing to get out of the house but i've been waist training every single day you guys and every day i wake up i feel skinnier and skinnier so i don't care what anybody says waist train i waist trained all day like i've been wearing them from like the time i get up and get dressed did you drop it again so yeah, I've been waist training and I did a lot of waist training when I was losing weight with Carson and I was skinny, like I was so skinny and um, yeah, so I think that it works. I feel like it helps you with just like um, portions because I have a really bad habit of even if I don't eat all day, like I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to smash a ton of food at the same time. And so waist training helps me with my portion control because it doesn't even like really allow you to eat as much as you normally do if you're an overeater because you're like sucked in real tight so it's just uncomfortable. And I wear it from the time I wake up to basically like like when I'm getting in the shower, I go to bed. And even I used to sleep in them at one point in time, but I feel like it really does like help. I mean, I've always kind of had a natural like, um, you know, hourglass silhouette even when I was like younger. So I don't know if it's necessarily gonna give you like BBL look, but I feel like it helps. A lot of people ask me about my body and workouts and stuff like that and to be honest i'm keeping up with y'all i don't work out it's pure genetics like I'm not saying that i'm in the best shape of my life right now but i didn't do any workouts or exercises after i had my low i tried to stay as fit as i could while i was pregnant with him so i did a lot of walking while i was pregnant with him and i was pretty active because i have two kids already but yeah i don't i i didn't really work out i, I didn't i didn't work out so i mean y'all would have seen me we didn't go to the gym. We went to one Pilates class last year, so. <laughs> a lot of it is just genetics. I just have a very petite frame anyways, so. Yeah. We just gotta get rid of the mom pouch and the lovely cellulite we have. Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. I'm thinking about doing the Chloe Ting app challenge for the last two weeks of January, just to kind of like hype myself up to start back. Yes. To start back working out. Do you want to look at me? What's the matter? You want something else? We don't got a lot of snacks in here, bud. I went to Val's cheesecake last night. This is off topic. Okay, let me finish what I was talking about first, then we'll get into this. I, um, want to do the Chloe Ting app challenge that way I can try to like a little bit get in the habit of waking up and like first thing in the morning and kind of just exercising because I do plan on scheduling all of my classes early in the morning originally I was thinking more of the afternoon or when the kids nap but it'll just be easier for Aaron and I to schedule if I just go to the gym at like for my classes at like 5 5 30 in the morning so that's what I'm gonna do anyway
anyways, I went to Dallas Cheesecake, which it's a little cheesecake place in Dallas if you've never heard of it. And it's so good. I brought this home for, um, for Aaron, but he didn't eat it. I guess we, really we just went to bed. Like we got upstairs and we watched the new episode of BMF and then we went to sleep. Anyways, I went out with my friend last night to eat dinner or whatever because the boys had a basketball practice. So we just went to Fuzzies and like grabbed a bite, but we also stopped by Val's and we got some cheesecake and they have like a whole bunch of different array of options, but you can get like a little jar like this, which is like six bucks, I think. Or you can get a slice, which is like eight. Bless you. Bless you. You want a little bite of cheesecake? I get the one called the Bay. You want some? Mmm. What is that? Is that good? Mmm. 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 Baby approved. Mmm. I'm gonna save it for him. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing, but I forgot it was in here, so I won't take a bite. Anyways, it comes with pecans, caramel, and caramel on the cheesecake. It's very good. And then I also got him peach cobbler because he's never been to Val's before. So I got him this because I thought he might want to try it. We can't eat it all. It's for your daddy. pizza is on the way that way it'll be quick let me order this and then we're gonna do like a quick little bath time while the pizza's on the way and then i'll come back and get y'all whenever we're about to watch a movie i don't know what we're gonna watch tonight because we pretty much watch everything we're like such a big movie family we've seen like every single movie as soon as anything comes out in the theaters we go see it speaking of i'm gonna go see house party it just came out um, with that LeBron, the LeBron James movie. Okay, we got a screaming child. All right, I just got out of the shower. I decided I was gonna take a quick shower. I'll probably take a bath later, so I'm not gonna do my body care, but I do wanna wash my face and give you guys like a little skincare update. The kids are in the tub right here if you hear them. Um, but basically, y'all know, in the last vlog that I left off on, I got a peel. I really didn't peel at all, so I feel like, I don't know, I got a different one than I did the time before last, and I just literally, like, I did not peel. Like, my skin kind of flaked a little bit, but not like a true peel. So, yeah, anyways, that being said, we're still left with, like, a lot of hyperpigmentation, um, and I do have, like, a hormonal breakout right now on my chin, so what I've been doing is I've only been using products, like, one at a time, so I've been using my cleanser, which is, like, this gel cleanser from Skin Better, um, it's just a gentle cleanser, so basically what I've been doing is, like, I'll use one product for, like, it hasn't been a week, it's really just been, like, a day, like, I'll put a product on my face, that I think that I liked before that was in my routine. And if I get a breakout, I stop using it immediately. Um, and I've just been taking pictures of my skin every day to kind of track it. I'm only doing it with one product at a time so I know which product is breaking my face out. So that's what I've been doing um, lately. Last night, I did add a new product into my nighttime routine and it's a retinol and just because that's really going to help with the hyperpigmentation and and so far so good it didn't break me out last night i haven't had any new breakouts today and this little under the skin hormonal pimple that i have right here feels like it went down overnight almost so i'm going to use it again tonight and then just keep using it and see what happens and if it ends up breaking me out then i'll stop using it so 
I don't know, I just wanted to share that because I feel like I never really thought about doing my skincare that way until somebody suggested it to me. I just wanted to share it with you guys in case you're like struggling with your skincare or whatever. Try taking out all your products and just keeping a cleanser and a moisturizer and then slowly adding stuff in one product at a time to see what is irritating your skin and what's not. So, anyways, yeah, I just wanted to say that really fast. It's kind of noisy. So, I'll see y'all in a minute. successfully finished our movie Matilda I would say the kids liked it it was one of my favorite kid movies like growing up as a kid I know they made a new version or a remake on Netflix on I think I it. <laughs> so we watched the original tonight um, the boys liked it and everybody's in bed now I let the boys stay up for a little while because it's still only 7 30 and watch some TV in their room for a bit since it's the weekend and then Mello is sleep so he's in his bed sleeping and i'm about to just do like a little quick clean before aaron comes home because i want to finish my vision board so i asked him if he could bring me a little stella rosa with like make it a vibe <laughs> i did want to place a grocery order for tomorrow so i have my laptop out and we're gonna do a quick little kroger order first and then we're gonna go finish cleaning up the bathroom in my closet Take a picture of your fridge while you're grocery shopping so you know what you do and don't need. <sighs> hey Siri, play music. Ain't no turkey on Thanksgiving. My whole boy just don't do. I just hope the Lord forgive him. Pass with residue. Every day I'm hustling. What else is a thug to do when you eat cheese from the government? Gotta provide for my dog and them. Get the f up out my way. Got that drum and I got them bands. Just like a parade. Drop that work up in the bushes. Hope them boys don't see my stash. If they do tell the truth, this the last time you might see my stash. The gardens where the grass ain't cut them serpents lurking blood Tell them Tell them But it's all good Broken promises Still you're watching Tell you what time it is Take your chase and take it Kick it with a forlock What was I gonna say? Oh, we're supposed to do our vision board tonight Dummy Dummy Listen we're gonna work on them tonight. I'm gonna work on it while I'm in bed. Aaron just got here and we ordered a little mug. Ooh, he wanted wings, so we got wings stuff and he's also gonna eat the little pizza and stuff. But, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, we're gonna get in the bed. So it's, I don't know what time it is. I'm like, I'm gonna take my weight off. <laughs> I know he's sick of me. And he's, um, brave. Put my bonnet on real fast but i did just want to like chat with you or tell you guys also i'm going to start taking zinc for my acne so i'll keep y'all updated on it um but anyways yeah i heard it can help but i took it already yesterday and made me kind of nauseous even though i took it with breakfast so i'm gonna start taking it at night right before i go to sleep or right after i eat dinner to see if that will like help with it. I'm to just oil my scalp. I got some like rosemary and mint oil. So I'm gonna like put them on my scalp, put my bonnet on, and then we're gonna get in the bed, work on the getting the rest of our images from Pinterest for our vision board. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Got my nun bonnet on. Y'all be killing me talking about me because I'll be thinking acting like the bonnet is my hair, but I don't care. Huh? 
Did you order drinks? Did I order drinks? No. I don't know what to watch. I want to watch Ginny and Georgia low key because everybody keeps. I keep seeing everybody watch it. It's like this show on Netflix about a girl and her mom. about a girl and her mom i'm just waiting for wednesday to come back on and you to come back on and you know what i'm gonna do huh you comes out next month comes out it's supposed to come out like next month yeah that's what i heard let's see what's trending on netflix um dang it. huh I want to get into Kaleidoscope so bad, but I can't stay awake past the first episode. Remember that one? Yeah, or they're trying to, I think they're trying to do a heist or rob a bank or something. Okay, Love Island. You gotta, I mean, I want to say the first episode got to give you something, but like that, I wouldn't give you nothing. Maybe we just fell asleep. What about Love Island? You wanna watch Love Island? You wanna watch Love Island? Cool. Huh? I don't know what to watch. You wanna watch Sex Lives of Girls in College? I never finished that. I put in my close friends that everybody needs to get the karma water that I've been telling y'all about. Cause I'm telling y'all. I can't say explicitly what I want to say on here, but just trust your girl and go get it. <laughs> and so everybody's like, fine, I'll get it. And then Haley was like, this better have everybody eating my ass. Oh my god. Huh? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not even gonna joke. We're not gonna get to the vision boards tonight. So stay tuned to see what happens on the next episode. I think tomorrow I wanna film like a reset video instead of a vlog, but kinda do it vlog-ish style. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. And then I wasn't gonna vlog on Sunday, but then I don't know, I might. We'll see. Alright, good night. See you in the next one.